Hi, we're back in the baby tent with the lovely Danielle. Hello. As we had her here today, we thought we'd have another discussion. And the chat we're going to have is to discuss um, whether, if you're newly engaged and you're looking at wedding venues, whether you want to go down the fully managed event venue like Penton Park, or if you're like me and you work a lot of the time in a field and you have the idea of having a DIY, DIY wedding, what things to consider versus a managed venue. So starting off, um, if you're in, in a DIY field with nothing, yep. what is your structure going to be? Are you That's going really to have cool. a marquee? Are you going to have it under the stars? If it's an evening wedding, are you going to consider the, the weather? All that kind of stuff. You need to think about what your structure is going to be. Now, have you you have marquees at... Yeah, so we um, use a marquee to kind of extend our capacity yep. to just sit down more than 85 um, and to have up to 180 in the evening. We can use the outside space for more kind of outdoor like celebrations and things yeah. like that, but most people when they come to Penton, they fall in love with the house, so they want to be yeah. in the building. One of the things to consider if you're going down the marquee route is a lot of people think of a marquee being a... Uh, a gazebo type thing not not in terms of look but the price of a gazebo yeah. and actually a mark a fully lined marquee clear span marquee with flooring with enough for 130 140 guests can be up in the thousands let's put a number on it i'd, I'd say about three and a half thousand pounds. and the rest probably. yeah so that would be what we charge but we get rates from our regular supplier yes. so yeah. it, you know you should be considering if you're several thousand. if you're considering a marquee that has this like wooden floor and a bar area and the furniture to go in it you chill out lounge chill bar, out dance floor Probably around the seven seven k yeah. um, seven lighting, k market. Lighting, catering, ten, heating, loads of things to think about. So when you're looking at a country house venue, and again you're looking at a good few thousand pounds for the venue, yeah. you have to remember that all that comes included already. You know, you you have the electricity. You don't have to think about getting a generator, and you have toilets and, and flushing loos, are not it? Yeah, flushing loos. <laughs> Who knew that would be such a thing? Oh, We're right. in the wrong business, seriously. Loos yeah. are, and a, a loo block can be about eight hundred pounds really in, in itself. Yeah. To, to, to go in for a wee. Yeah. The other thing is we come pretty much fully decorated if you want you know yes. we have some people that walk into the venue and barely change anything they maybe yeah. add some flowers but they don't have the need to no. dress the the space yeah so if you want to do that and you want to get involved in kind of collecting everything and making it really really mm -hmm. personal the marquee's brilliant because it gives you such a blank canvas yeah. whether yeah. it's attached to a country house or in addition or just standalone in a field um, whereas inside the country house with all the kind of old pictures and furniture, mm. you've got a lot of that kind of yeah. texture and backdrop already. Yeah. I think another thing to note is that we do live in good old Blighty and with the greatest wind in the world, your head might think about having an outdoor wedding with the blue skies and the yellow sun and everyone picnicking on blankets yeah. outside and it being chilled. Nine times out of ten, that's going to go. It's either going to be cloudy and overcast, or the heavens will open. Yeah, and we we had one wedding this summer where they had planned a festival garden theme. Yeah. So they had so many awesome festival games, and it literally was torrential. It's one yeah. of those Saturdays midsummer where you yeah. look out the window and just go, "Oh my gosh!" But we had loads of indoor space. So if you're going for a market, I think having an area that is your wet weather plan is really, really yeah. important. I was a bridesmaid at a wedding um, a couple of years ago, and they, again, they had a very festival star. They had a bouncy castle outside. It was also on the um, the New Forest showground. Oh right, yeah. And um, they'd had <coughs> the New Forest show the week before. Muddy. And they'd had a lot of torrential rain and right. cars were getting stuck and so it was a festival up. with wellies, Hunter Wellies Pretty bang much, on for that but one. literally <laughs> the um, they didn't have any um hard surfacing under the marquee, so it was carpet oh and it was literally Okay, yeah, that's really yeah. So really really That gives me anxiety. <laughs> Yeah. And as a bride or a groom or a groom and groom, whoever as as yeah. a couple, you don't want to have that added worry of Oh my goodness. You don't want to look out the window the morning you're getting ready yeah. and literally go, this is going to be a disaster. You want to go, do you know what? might not be what we've planned. Yeah. It might not be plan A, but plan B is really solid yeah. and plan B is still going to be a brilliant day yeah. and I'm going to have a great time. And ultimately, I've seen some amazing wedding vlogs. The photos you get from rain clouds yep. and rains and umbrellas yep. and cl classy wellies We've and got stuff. some on our website at the moment of a really lovely sunny yeah. You can really make the but don't assume that you're going to get picture blue sky and um, everyone sunbathing because it's not always going to happen yeah and things like the best thing to do with activ activities in an outdoor wedding with a DIY style is the fact that you have space and you can do pretty much anything you total want total flexibility if you put a marquee up in a field you can do whatever yeah. you want at any time yeah. no rules no yeah. restrictions one thing sometimes you might have to consider though depending on whereabouts you're putting your outdoor wedding if it's going to be on a farmer's field or it's going to be attached to a garden is that you may need to have a temporary event license it's not always the case because depending on who, who's it's around you generally if it's if there's sale of alcohol yeah you're 
um, when you're putting on music over a certain okay. level. So if you're going to have a DJ or a band, it's definitely better to have it, but it costs £21, yes. so it's not an expensive thing And not only that, you can always consider things like um, one of the venues we've worked with quite closely with the marquees is um, directional speakers and ask your, um, your sound provider if they can help you in terms of putting directional speakers in, because that can sometimes help muffle the sound and bring it into the marquee rather than outside. Yeah. Um, again, something to discuss with your event provider. Um, do you think it's worth, if somebody's considering a marquee venue in a field, looking into hiring a wedding planner or an event planner for Ooh, on the day management? You or not? see. Or caterers that's to a, cover that's that. That's a for good, you? good question. So I got married in 2012, not 2011. <laughs> <laughs> that I, got I love my husband dearly, and he's probably better. He's, he, he completely blows away any other husbands. He knows all the dates of every birthday, everything. Oh, really? He's, he's awesome. Oh, that's impressive. No, I'm not so good. <laughs> um, um, we had a DIY wedding in the Purbex and overlooked Dial of White and Corfe Castle. It was beautiful. We did everything ourselves. Um, we had the caterers come in and they helped lay the tables in the morning because that was one thing we just didn't want to be yeah, doing. Fair enough. However, um, we had an issue with our loo block on the day. Um, got picked up. Oh, that's nice. bad. We didn't know anything about it. But unfortunately, our best man spent his entire afternoon with his oh, hand, no. pretty much elbow deep in, in loo blue, you know, oh trying to sort God. it out. And it's one of those things that our wedding guests, or ultimately your best man is your wedding guest, yeah. shouldn't have been having to deal with. Now we had, apart from that little tiny detail, we had no problems at all, but it's a lot of planning and we were quite a distance from home, we're from Southampton, Perbix was probably about an hour and a half with, with traffic and stuff. So if anything went wrong, we had to worry about that. Yeah. But if, if you have the budget to spend, just on even on an on-day coordinator, yeah. you don't have to have the entire planner for the six months beforehand, get someone that's not involved in the wedding who yeah. you can sit down with and say, this is our schedule for the day. They'll run through it with you to make sure that they are on board with your schedule. And if anything goes wrong, you can pass the buck. I definitely think like it's one of the biggest top tips I would yeah. have. So even if you're the most kind of creative, organised, you know, you, you you feel you've got it totally and utterly sorted. <laughs> I think just having somebody like you say, that, you, yeah. that your best man could have said, excuse me, yeah. the uh, toilet box. Yeah. Not that we wish that on any other wedding planners or anything like that. But, but that's the job, that's what yeah, they're there to do, is exactly to take that there. responsibility and fix it so that yeah. you guys can just enjoy the you wedding. You want to sit on that top, top table, wherever you're sitting in the day, and yeah. you don't want to worry about anything at all in the slightest. Yeah. And the other thing I was going to say, and it will be the same for either country house venue, or managed venue, or an outdoor venue, make sure if you're looking at your budget, the one thing I would spend my money on over everything else would be your photographer. Yeah. Make sure that you spend good money on your photographer who knows what you want out of your day, and ultimately, people aren't going to care what glitter you've got on the table, or if you've got peonies versus daisies, they're not going to care at the end of it, and you won't think about it afterwards, but your your photos will be the one thing everyone at the end of it, at. everyone looks at, and you look at it for years to come, you'll look at your album and remember a good day, so yeah. make sure that you're happy with our country venue. Is is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what, is that escape parakeet or something? Yeah. <laughs> We love the tent here, we yeah. do. No, I'd agree. Photography is really important. You put them all up on the walls in your house yeah. and they're there for life. So yeah. make sure you like the look of everything else, yeah. but the photography, definitely worth investing in. Yes. Cool. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to um, come and talk to us at either our venues or check out our website. I am www.baileybeltens.co.uk and you are www.pentonpark.co.uk. And if you like what you hear, feel free to subscribe on our button down below. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.